Hello everybody! This time I would like to show a very easy way how to model a sphere cage. So let me start with a box. I subdivide it and then select this polygon Control X, Control V to separate it. Control X, Control V Control X, Control V, and one last time, Control X, Control V, and now we have separated all these polygons. We are only interested really in the gap in between, but the polygons will help us to create this gap. So I press the D key once, twice, go to the side view or front view select all these polygons here and delete them. We don't need them. Then I go to Perspective View, activate Symmetry on the X, then go to Edge Mode, select edges in here, then bridge them. I have a keyboard shortcut assigned to the Bridge tool go to here, bridge these, go to, sorry, here, and bridge these together. Now I go to vertex mode, select these three words, and hit the P key, do the same here. Oops, this has happened as well, delete these. hit the P key, <clears throat> and before I continue, I want to uh, bevel this here to protect this edge. So I make a small bevel, bevel it in a bit like so, drop the tool. Now I can press the D key again go to top view, select these four polys, go out to here, invert the selection, delete. Select these again, go out to here and delete this. Perspective view, now I select this, go to Action Center, Origin, Control Copy, Control V, E key, Control Rotate it, Control Z, but without symmetry. Control rotate it 180 degrees. Control copy, Control V, hit the E key. Control rotate it 90 degrees. Drop the tool, Control copy, Control V, E key again. Now on this axis, 90 degrees. Drop everything, deselect everything, go to vertex mode, merge, and merge them together. That looks right. So, <clears throat> next I go to my presets, load my special sphere, and subdivide it once more, go to my previous mesh. It's probably not necessary to do this, but it's also not something which is a lot of work. So R key, and I think I go down to 20% in all the dimensions. Now we can uh, go to polygon, uh, thicken. I think I make it about plus 30 millimeters and apply. Then we can go to the globe here, take this one, control X, go to the other mesh, control V, I select this globe, R key, and I think I go a bit down, 96% to make some gap here. Then M key, to assign a material, 
sphere and select the rest here. Not so. M, call it cage. Deselect everything. Now I go to edge mode, select edges, an edge in here, one in here, one in here, and another one in here, and then one here, and probably a last one here. Alt C, count of two, five percent, that looks good, and our cage is done. Now, because this went so fast, I will go to the render tab. A key, uh, this looks usually very pretty. Then assign a material, metal, maybe silver to the cage, like so. Select a nice layout. This one usually looks pretty nice, so load it. Uh, go again to the render. Let's see. Then I select the render, go to the frame, make this 850 in both dimensions, make it a bit bigger, global illumination, enable it, and let's render it out. Now, here it is. There are several ways how to do this, but I think this is probably the easiest one to do it. And you can, of course, uh, depending on what you're doing, let's assume you do the helmet of a diver, for example, then you don't need these big openings. You need smaller openings and you can easily achieve this by <clears throat> when you at the beginning, when we separated all the polygons, you just put them further apart or closer to each other if you want to make some very filigrane cage. So, as usual, I will leave this on for a while so I can use it as a, a thumbnail. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.